Hey everyone, Erica here with OWC. Today I'm just checking out our Xbox One upgrade kit that was just released. Currently, it's available in a few different drive types and capacities, starting at one terabyte and packaged in a convenient external enclosure. It's mostly intended for those of you finding yourself short on space with a 500 gig generation Xbox One. I'm sure you've noticed it stretching you pretty thin on your storage space like we are, so it's going to offer you some room to expand your gaming right out of the box. The kit comes with everything you need to just plug it in and start loading up your games. First, we've got some instructions here to walk us through everything. Looks like everything is packed up quite nicely here with some biodegradable foam. We've also got a USB 3 cable, which actually allows this little guy to give you faster transfer speeds than the internal Xbox drive. The enclosure itself is a black little slimline 2.5 inch drive. It's going to match your Xbox perfectly. The last thing we've got in here is the little carrying case that if you do want to take the drive someplace, you just slip it in and we're ready to go. Okay guys, we are ready to go. Everything's out of the box and all we need to do is just get everything hooked up. It's a pretty straightforward, simple process, but you might want to follow along with the instructions just to be sure. First things first, let's just take the included USB cable and attach it to the drive. Then we'll just plug it into the Xbox itself. You can use any of the USB 3 ports on the console. It'll do its thing and pretty much immediately it'll prompt you to set up the new drive as external storage. You can see off to the side there, it's currently unformatted and how much free space is available to use. Go ahead and choose to format the storage device. Then you'll need to name the device, so here I'll just call it Go Drive. Once you've named it, it prompts you to either install new things here or keep current location. By installing new things here, any new games will be loaded to this hard drive going forward instead of the Xbox One itself. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to choose the new drive for new installs. This won't include anything currently installed on the Xbox though, we'll have to bring those over separately in just a bit. Now you'll just finish up formatting the storage device, and there you go. Once it's done, a little notification will pop up letting you know it's ready. This means we can start bringing over any games we want off the Xbox over to the new external drive. So I'm going to walk through that process right now. We're not going to transfer everything right now, so I'm just going to show you how to do this with one game for now. And you'll just want to repeat the process for any others that you want to bring over to the new drive. So pop over to your games and apps. For this video, I'm just going to move the Forza 5 game. It's a pretty sizable game. It's over 40 gig. So with your game selected, just click the menu button to bring up the option to manage game. Click into the drop down area so you can choose move all. You're about to move this one thing. The screen lets you know how much space you have to use on the drive you're transferring to, so you can kind of gauge if you have enough room to make the move. Go ahead and start your move now. Let it just do its thing. You can see the progress down below. Depending on the size of the game you're moving, this could potentially be a pretty time-consuming process, so I'll just check back with you when my own transfer is complete. Now that it's done transferring, you can see it's all set at its home on your new drive. So I'm just going to give it a quick boot and make sure everything's working okay, and maybe get in a quick game while I'm at it. All right, guys, that's it. Everything seems to be working just great, so I'm gonna get in some more practice, and I will catch you guys next time. See you later.